And now to a Fox 5 exclusive. We told you this week about a DC bar that had thousands of dollars stolen from its bank accounts. Now we're hearing this has happened to other customers who bank at the same place. And our Lindsay Watts back on this story. She spoke to two more small business owners who had their accounts cleaned out. She has the story that you only see here on Fox 5. Lindsay. All three of these business owners banked with Truist. Between them, they had hundreds of thousands of dollars taken. Money they say the bank is not going to return. It was gut-wrenching to start with because that was our operating capital for everything. Ricky Hagenbush has run a contracting business here in Loudoun County for 40 years. He says it was New Year's Eve when he got a text from Truist about possible fraud on a business banking card he had replaced the month before. Then an alert someone set up online banking and wire transfers. Which we had never done before. He says while he was on the phone with Truist customer service, the wire transfers started. $25,000, then another and another. She responded to me saying that's impossible. We've got the account frozen. It must have been something that slipped through before the account got frozen. He says his son's account was linked to his. 20 minutes later, my son calls me and tells me that they cleaned me out, Dad. Records he provided show five different wire transfers totaling $116,000. There were about 25 wire transactions that were performed. On Monday, we talked to longtime Adams Morgan business owners whose truest accounts also got cleaned out just before the new year. They said they initially had almost half a million dollars stolen and are still out over 200,000. When you saw our story about the Adams Morgan restaurant, what did you think? I thought, oh my God, there actually are people that's going through the same thing that I am. Same with Diane Dennis. It was my income of everything for about the past three years. She says someone stole over 25K from her truest account in February through a direct debit. Dennis lives in Prince William County and makes handmade jewelry. I very honestly feel like I have worked all this time for absolutely nothing, and that really, really hurts. She says she got no alert from Truist about the debit and that the bank is maintaining she had a contract with this person. She says not true. Both she and Hagenbush say they've spent countless hours fighting for their money and that this is more than just dollar signs. The old saying that I always heard people say growing up, you know, when somebody steals something from you, you feel violated. And I never relate it to that. Excuse me. It's not so much they stole his money, but his teenage sons, who had saved up thousands of dollars working. He, his words to me were, I've been a burden to you for 16 years. It's time for me to take care of myself. And I don't want him <clears throat> starting out his adult life seeing <clears throat> the world in this manner. So difficult. He says he did get $5,000 returned, but now Truist has closed the case. Truist's policy indicates that if fraud was confirmed, that the bank would reimburse the money. I reached out to the bank, and they tell me they can't speak about specific client matters. All three of these cases happened around the time that BB&T and SunTrust merged to become Truist, and there were other issues reported. We will be staying on top of this. Back to you.